No, seriously, I am. You think I have energy now. You wait till you see me when I don't have a B12 deficiency. So what's the deal with B12? We're here to debunk the B12 myth myth. Because lo loads of vegans think that you having to have B12 is a myth. B12 is super important for the normal brain functioning and normal nervous system functioning of your body. B12 can't be sourced naturally from a plant-based diet. It's active in some mushrooms and algae, but it's not reliable. Humans get it from either eating animals, eating their excretions or byproducts. Or eating soil rich in active B12, which most soil these, these days is not, as it's all been ruined by chemicals and herbicides and pesticides. Yeah. Um, and animals get it through poop. Don't get any ideas. Don't go eating any poop. <laughs> Soil and eating other animals. You can look out for symptoms of feeling tired, feeling weak, feeling depressed, feeling dizzy, weight loss, headaches, um, shortness of breath, heart palpitations. And deficiencies cause anemia and neurological dysfunction. And even if not full-blown anemia, like it just inhibits your iron absorption. So what do we need to do? We need to get a blood test to check our B12 levels. What else? And you also need to get a methylmalonic acid test. MMA. Yeah, to check to see if you have enough active B12 within you. So what else do you need to do once you've found out you're deficient in B12? Get injections. That's if you're already <laughs> deficient because... It's really important to try and get on top of that deficiency while it's still early. So for me, I'm having to have three injections in the next 10 days and then one every three months after that, which I'm super excited about because it means I'm going to have loads more energy once I'm no longer B12 deficient. And that's really exciting. And supplement. You can either supplement orally or you can get injections. Intravenously. Intravenously. That leads to the question, is veganism unnatural? Da 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 da! Well, no one can say. Are humans unnatural? Yeah, pretty unnatural. Most things we do are super unnatural. So unnatural. I'm talking to you through an iPad right now. <laughs> but veganism means not consciously abusing animals, making massive changes for the planet, and greatly reduce your risk of heart disease, lots of types of cancers, and diabetes, osteoporosis. Yeah. And thing. just means we can stop abusing animals. Oh, with a little, little, little blue pill. Like, we're smart people now. We live lives of abundance. We know we can live healthfully, fruitfully. We can thrive. All we have to do is take a little itty bitty B12 supplement, and all's good. And you'll be healthier than most. No, it's better than all the people taking loads of supplements throughout their entire life, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, like 12 pills a day. Yeah. And prior to now, I've never, ever, ever taken a single supplement being vegan. Never, ever been sick or needed to take any pills. Apart from your deficiency. Literally never. So, yeah, okay, I'm B12 deficient, but that's sorted out easily. I'm cool with that. Tell me your story. Oh, yeah, well, my story. So, I've just noticed the past year that I haven't had as much energy as I would have expected considering how well I treat my body. I never drink alcohol, I never smoke, I only eat fruits and vegetables, I keep the fat low, carbs high, I'm always giving myself energy, drinking loads of water, getting enough sleep, just living a compassionate lifestyle, so feeling more at peace within and healthy in that way. But then I just haven't had enough energy like I go running and I go to yoga but I would have thought that I could be running marathons now and you know waking up every morning ready to jump out of bed but some mornings I'm just like not ready no I want to stay in bed a bit longer and it really confused me I was starting to get a bit annoyed at myself wondering why I didn't have enough energy and so when I went to the doctor and she told me I was B12 deficient she was like gee you mustn't have much energy and I was like well, to be honest, past year, I haven't really had that much energy. And that explains that. Also, you know all that knee pain I've had running and everything? Well, my calcium levels and my vitamin D levels were perfect. They were amazing. So she's not actually very worried about my bones. She said that that's more to do with the B12 deficiency because another symptom is like uh, just tenderness, weakness, and muscle soreness and like just problems with your joints and everything. Just, just pain in general. So it'll be really interesting to see if over the next few months when my levels start going up and up and up, 
How did I feel? Next few days. Next few days, even. Could be running, running Iron Man. Yeah, look out, people. Look out. I'm coming to get you. She thinks she's got energy now. Oh my god. Yeah, I do. She's gonna destroy it. But B twelve can, it stays in your system for five to ten years, so you you really don't know whether you're going to get deficient or not when yeah. you stop supplementing. So basically, we're just recommending that you guys go out, have your blood test done, check to see if you're deficient or not, and if you are, get on top of it. It's really important. And if you're not, get supplementing anyway, because yeah. it's a myth, myth, myth. Mythy myth. Myth, myth. All right. Hope this was helpful. Let us know if you found it helpful. Yeah. Let us know if you've had any experiences with B12 deficiencies and how it's made you feel. Let us know if you'd like to see more videos like this. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Bye.